Let's move on to the next question. So here we have to find the first three terms of this expansion in ascending powers of x. So pretty easy, first three terms, we begin with the expansion. That'll be first six choose zero. So here we have two and then minus x. Since this is zero, this will have to be zero as well. Six minus zero is six. That's my first term. Then continue, six choose one. That'll be two minus x. We have one here, that'll have to be one here. Six minus one is five. And then third term, 6 choose 2, that I have 2 here, minus 1, that will be 2 and 4 here. So let's see what do we have. 6 choose 0 is 1, that will be 1, times 2 power 6 will be 64, and this will be 1. That will be 6, 32, will be minus x, and 6 choose 2, that will be 15, that will be 16 and x squared. 2 power 4 is 16. So let's see what else can we do. We can simplify that will be 64 plus 6 times 32 will be minus 192x plus 15 times 16, that should be 240x squared. So the first three term will be 64 minus 192x plus 240x squared. Now for part two, we had to find the value of k, for which there is no term in x squared for this expansion. So now we have to expand 1 plus kx multiplied by 2 minus x power 6. Now, we have something here, it tells you that we have no term in x squared, which means the term in x squared is 0x squared. Using this, we have to find the value of k. Now how would you expand this? It is simply 1 times 2 minus x power 6 plus kx times 2 minus x power 6. Now for the first one is 1 times 64 minus 192 x plus 240 x squared plus kx times 64 minus 192 x plus 240 x squared from part 1, right? Now here in this question we only care about the term in x squared, so 1 times this one, 240 x squared plus kx multiplied by, by this one, 192x, because we only care about x squared. This will give you 240 x squared plus minus 192k x squared. We know if you factorize you will have 240 minus 192k, that will be x squared. And we know this is a term in x squared, and here we have no term in x squared, which means this has to be 0. So let's equate that to, to 0 and see what happens. That will be 192k, have to be 240. So k will be 240 divided by 192. That should be 1.25 for your value of k. Okay, And that will be your question to finding k for this binomial expansion.